satellite from way down under in Perth, Western Australia. We're going way down under, way out west. Don't be surprised if we all want to stay. The 28th annual Miss Universe pageant. Venezuela. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marisa Sayalero. I come from Caracas. Thank you. Red Bluff is the highest promontory in Calberry, with spectacular views in all directions. Of course, it's not every day that view includes these beauties. Miss Scotland and Miss Venezuela, Lorraine Davidson and Maritza Saljolero. That's the only place. There are only two names left on my list of 12 semi-finalists. Only two girls who have a chance to be Miss Universe, and one of them is Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela is next, and Miss Venezuela speaks some English, but she'd like to have an interpreter standing by. May we have the interpreter up here, please? Oh, here he is. She, he's just going to stand by and help if we need it. Maritza Sajalero, 18, from Caracas, a university student. What are you studying? I am studying architecture. That uh, is a very fine field, but how did you choose, why did you choose to be an architect? Porque usted escogió estudiar arquitectura. Porque es una carrera que realmente es muy pequeña, a mí y porque tengo mucho sentido de creación y soy muy futurista. She feels that she likes to create and she feels that uh, the world be, is going to be the future and she would like to construct for the future. Very nice. Here she is. She is uh, one of our semi-finalists. Have you ever watched the pageant on television? ¿Usted ha visto el programa de Miss Universo en televisión antes de esta noche? Como no, desde muy pequeña, realmente es que tengo uso de razón, todas las noches vi el concurso de mis universos. Me parece que es el concurso más maravilloso del mundo y estoy muy contenta de yo poder participar en él. Miss Venezuela says that she's always watched uh, telecast and she's always enjoyed watching the program. She's been seeing it year after year since she was a little girl. Since you were a little girl, do I look any older? Te <laughs> seduce un poquito mayor de que antes. Yo? No, él, tú no. No, igualito, lindo. No. Ah, that's how she became a semi-finalist. Very bright. Thank you. Thank you. Bright girl there. Very bright. Miss Venezuela. Maritza has brown hair and brown eyes. She's 18 years old. She weighs 114 and a half pounds, and she's five feet eight inches tall. Miss Venezuela. Good luck, girls. The first finalist, Miss Venezuela. Now, Miss Venezuela, the last question is yours. The interpreter is here. The question is, you've just spent three weeks with young ladies from 74 other countries. What have you learned from them? Señorita Venezuela, usted ha estado aquí tres semanas con muchachas del mundo entero. ¿Qué ha aprendido usted de esta experiencia? Bueno, mi mayor satisfacción por primera vez ha sido poder conocer a 80 muchachas de diferentes naciones y diferentes culturas. Y mi mayor emoción es que tengo por primera vez muchas amigas, 80 muchachas. Ms. Venezuela's answer is that she's been able to meet 80, 76, 80 girls from all over the world, and for the first time she has 80 friends that she's going home as friends of hers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Venezuela. Above it, the 
One of you is about to become Miss Universe, the other is the first runner-up, a position that's important because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot fulfill her obligations for the entire year, the first runner-up becomes Miss Universe. I shall announce the first runner-up first and then Miss Universe. The first runner-up is Miss Bermuda. Miss Venezuela is Miss Universe. Now, this is Bob Barker thanking you for joining us. Good night, everybody. Tolerance and mutual understanding. We pledge to spread this message in every way we can, wherever we go. This is Peter Perrin speaking. A world of wonder awaits you down under and way out west. Hello from way down under, way out west, where we've discovered a beautiful part of the universe. Tomorrow is here today, so come on, wait.